The music industry only usually has room for one or two kids at a time. There are lots of young rappers in the game right now. There have always been young rock bands or young singers, but topping the charts and truly capturing the spirit of their generation is something that only a few kids will do every decade. Ten years ago, it was Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. Five years ago, it was Shawn Mendes and Halsey. Today, it's Billie Eilish and, well, Billie Eilish is good enough to represent both genders. Let's just leave it at that. But when you really get down to it and look at Billie's music, I think there's something unprecedented about her success. She's popular because she channels an adolescent perspective, but deeper than that, her creativity is really well developed and very unique. Let's talk about that. Billie Eilish comes from a family of musicians and actors. Her mother and father are actors and musicians. Her older brother Phineas O'Connell is a musician as well. In fact, her success wouldn't be possible without him. He produces most of Billie's music and he helps her write songs. They tour together and he's often recognized as being partially responsible for Billie's success in the industry. Phineas is an actor as well. He's appeared in several films and TV shows, including Glee and Modern Family. Billie's original interest in writing and singing songs was inspired by her brother's high school band. Billie's first song, Ocean Eyes, set the tone for her musical style. It was originally written by Phineas, but she took an interest in it and he let her record the song. She released it on SoundCloud, but just a few months after it came out, it was re-released by Darkroom and Interscope Records. The single received positive reviews and some commercial success. In January 2017, Billie put out an EP with four remixes of Ocean Eyes. They did well, and her second single dropped soon after. Bellyache was co-written and produced by Phineas. It did well, charting in several countries and receiving positive reviews. Billie was building a solid buzz as an upcoming artist, and a lot of people were interested in her because of her young age and her ability to sing. But at the same time, many hardcore music elitists were starting to call her out as an industry plant. An industry plant is someone who's promoted by family members or friends in the industry without doing all of the hard work associated with making it in the music business. With family in Hollywood and an actor slash musician as a brother, it was inevitable that Billy would eventually be accused of not earning her fame. But according to Billy, that's not actually how it happened. She told Teen Vogue that the sudden popularity of Ocean Eyes was totally accidental. According to Billy, she and her brother uploaded their recording of the song to SoundCloud so her dance teacher could listen to it, but a ton of people started hearing the song and sharing it overnight. It kept getting more and more popular, and before long an agent reached out to Billy to ask if he could help her make more music. Billy continued releasing singles throughout 2017. She made a song called Bored for the soundtrack of the controversial Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. In August 2017, she dropped her first EP, made up of all the singles she had released over the past year. The EP debuted at number 185 on the Billboard 200, but it reached number 14 a year and a half after its release, in January 2019. The secret to Billie's musical maturity, unique production, and generally well put together music so early in her career is the unique creative process that she shares with her brother. Phineas produces her songs, co-writes them, and performs with her live. In an interview, Billie talked about their songwriting process. She said that when she and her brother write songs, they like to make some of them almost entirely fictional. And they like to write about things that everyone is feeling, but no one says. Billie continued to grow in popularity as 2018 began. She toured around the US in the spring and released a collaboration with Khalid that would go on to become her most popular song yet. She also dropped songs like You Should See Me in a Crown and When the Party's Over, two tracks that would prove to be immensely popular. And all the while, Billie was only continuing to get more and more famous. And we can see that her fame has been hard to handle. In a video interview with Vanity Fair, comparing her status in late 2017 to late 2018, a lot had changed in just a year. Every time I go anywhere, hands down. I might be safe if I go to Trader Joe's, <laughs> but everywhere else is kind of get recognized, which is actually really cool, but it, you know, it's a lot. Kind of a lot, actually. 
but like not a ton. It's kind of like maybe like once a week. Um, I'm kind of jealous of Billy a year ago. Cause I kind of, I don't know. I'm really not about to fucking pity myself for people recognizing who I am, which is, cause it's like, I'm really grateful for it. But I don't know, I, I would like to go to, I don't know, anywhere and not be always recognized. It's pretty common for teen stars to collapse under the pressure of being so famous that they can't live normal lives anymore. Some of the most famous examples include Miley Cyrus, Lindsay Lohan, and Macaulay Culkin. But it's been happening since the beginning of the entertainment industry as we know it. Of course, it's too early to tell if Billy is in a healthy enough environment, with family and managers, that she'll be able to avoid the sort of controversy that usually plagues child stars as they start to mature. Despite the pressures of fame, Billie has only become more successful and hardworking over the last couple of months. She announced her first album, called When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go?, on January 29th, by revealing its title and cover art. The singles from the album have racked up hundreds of millions of plays so far. I think, in a way, some of Billie's fears and angst about fame are coming through in her musical style and appearance. Her production has gotten darker over time, and her visuals are changing as well. Because of her vocal style, Billie's music has always been eerie, but she's been taking it to a whole new level over the last year. The music video and production for You Should See Me in a Crown is dark, with the video featuring Billie sitting while live spiders crawl in and out of her mouth and on her face. The production on the song is almost industrial, Bury a Friend, one of her latest singles, is similarly dark and the video is themed like a horror movie. With off-the-wall fashion choices and disturbing visuals, Billie Eilish's style stands out better than anyone else in pop music. But even despite her creativity, one of the most common criticisms about Billie Eilish is that she's a generic and talentless artist that only appeals to edgy kids. It's a pretty common criticism that people have about young artists. We've all heard it before. Billie Eilish is fake depressed, she has no talent, so on and so forth. The people that say this don't actually understand what makes Billie Eilish good. From her crazy fashion sense to her unusual yet interesting production, Billie is extremely creative. Sure, she's still a kid, and you can definitely hear it in her lyrics, but to my ears, she's one of the most talented and unique kids in music. Almost two years ago, when she was first blowing up, Billie talked to the music blog Milk.xyz about her musical influences. Her list of favorite artists included The Beatles, Tyler the Creator, XXXTentacion, Ski Mask the Slump God, and Young Thug. And I think that tells us a lot about who Billie is. In essence, she has the rebellious attitude of a SoundCloud rapper like X and Ski, with the creative spirit of someone like Tyler or Young Thug, and the musical background and talent of The Beatles. And when you get down to it, that might just be why Billie Eilish, a 17-year-old who likes to make music with her brother, is getting more streams than all of them. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out youtube.com slash Volksgeist for more videos like this.